Let us try to understand the formation of hydrogen molecule using Lewis or electron dot structures or symbols. Well, before we start the formation, understanding the formation of hydrogen molecule, you need to understand that hydrogen is an atom uh, which has an atomic number 1 and has an electronic configuration also 1. Number of valence electrons is 1 in hydrogen atom. Now, as we see that hydrogen atom has only one electron in its outermost shell, it tells us very clearly that it is an unstable atom. It is not following the duplet rule which says that it should have two electrons in its K shell, that is its first and outermost shell. Now, since it has only one electron, it tells us very clearly that it needs to have one more electron to follow the duplet rule. Now, what can it do so to become stable or in other terms follow the duplet rule? What hydrogen atom can actually do is it can bond with some other atom which can actually provide it with one more electron to complete its duplet. Now since hydrogen is a non-metal, it can never lose electrons. What it can do is it can either gain electrons or it can share with some other atom. Now the topic which we are discussing today is the formation of hydrogen molecule which involves only covalent bonding. It does not involve formation of any ionic bond which we have already discussed in a video before. So hydrogen atom since it has one electron in its outermost shell can easily share one electron with another hydrogen atom and in turn form a covalent bond. Now to begin with when we start making the structures for before we start making the structures or we uh, start the formation of hydrogen molecule, we need to go step by step. Now, the first step that we uh, write is in terms of Lewis structure, we first write the Lewis structure of the atom, that is hydrogen. And in Lewis structure, we so show only the valence electrons. So, since hydrogen has only one valence electron, it's the symbol of hydrogen is drawn along with the one dot for one valence electron. Now, since it is unstable, it is going to bond with another hydrogen atom. So, we draw another hydrogen atom along with it, putting a plus sign in the center. Its valence electron is shown on the inner side. This is how. This is the first step which we need to show before we need to make, or we before we need to make the hydrogen molecule or to understand covalent bonding. Now, in the next step, we put an arrow and we put both the electrons together without the plus sign showing that now a bond is being formed between the two hydrogen atoms. The electrons which are involved in the bond are shown in the middle in the center and we put a circle around each of the hydrogen atoms with its two electrons showing that each of the hydrogen atoms now has two electrons each. As you can see this circle is representing that these two electrons are with this hydrogen atom. This circle here represents that these two electrons are with this hydrogen atom as well. That means in the center we are showing the number of electrons being shared between the two hydrogen atoms. Just like you show Venn diagrams. In Venn diagrams you show whatever is common in the center. Similarly we show the shared pair of electrons in the center. Now since both the hydrogen atom is sharing one electron each, we call this together as one pair of electrons being shared between the two hydrogen atoms. So one electron by each of them and in total they are sharing one pair of electrons. This one shared pair of electrons is represented with the help of a single line. And this single line between the two hydrogen atoms represents a single covalent bond. That means this line is showing that two hydrogen atoms are sharing one pair of electrons between each other. That is what is meant by a covalent bond. That means sharing of electrons happening between the two atoms. Now, since two hydrogen atoms are involved, therefore the formula becomes H2. There is a 2 in the subscript which represents it is a hydrogen molecule. The formula of the molecule formed by covalent bonding is H2. And since two atoms of hydrogen are involved in bond formation, therefore we write it as H2. So, I hope this makes it very clear that how covalent bonding happens in the formation of hydrogen molecule.